Hello, my name is Dr. Zori Brown, and I will be talking to you today about your business plan and your finances. As we all know, finance is the backbone of any business, and a good business plan is necessary for the successful implementation of financial goals. What is a business plan? A business plan is a written document that outlines objectives, strategies, and financial projections of a company. It acts as a roadmap or blueprint for a business to follow, outlining those goals and steps needed to achieve those goals. It's essential for a business of any size, whether you are a startup or established company, to have a well-written business plan. I would like to discuss some key components of a business plan. The first component of a business plan is your executive summary. This section, you're gonna be able to tell investors or lenders why your company is or why will it be successful. You wanna include your mission statement, your product or service that you're providing, and some basic information about your company's leadership or employees, as well as the location. If you're asking for financing, you should also include some financial information in this section as well. The next section I wanna talk about is your company description. You wanna be as detailed as possible about the information regarding your company. Go in detail about the problems your business is solving. Explain the competitive advantages that makes your business successful. You also wanna talk about experts on your team and discuss your company's strengths in this section. The next section is your market analysis. In your market analysis, you wanna make sure you do research on your competitors. You want to make sure you do research on the industry and your target market. So in this section, you want to make sure your research includes and shows other businesses and how they're doing what you're doing and what are their strengths. You also want to talk about what makes your product or service better than your competitors. The next section is your organization and management section. This is where you'll discuss the structure of your business. So whether it's a sole proprietorship, a partnership, a LLC, which is a limit liability company? Are you incorporating your business as a C or an S corporation? That's the information that needs to be included in this section. The next section is your service or product line. In this section, you want to talk about what product or service you're offering. Explain the benefits to your customer. If you have plans of intellectual property or patent filings or copyrights, Put that in this section as well. If you're planning to do research and development for your service or product, explain that as well in this section. The next section is marketing and sales. As we all know, strategies are always evolving and changing to fit unique needs. In this section, you want to be able to describe how you plan to attract and retain your customers. You also want to think about how the actual sale will happen. In this section, it's important to understand your marketing strategy. Next, you want to include your funding requests and you want to be clear about your goals in this section as well. How much funding are you asking over the next five years? Specify whether it's debt or equity. And also you want to include your terms, the length of the time you're requesting, the terms, all of that information should be included in this section. Also, you want to talk about what will the funding be used for? Is it to pay for equipment or material? Is it also to pay for salaries? So you want to include those items in this section. The next section is your financial projections, and this is supplemental to your funding requests. In this section, you want to show how your business is stable and how you will be a financial success. So you wanna include things, especially for those established businesses, such as your income statement, your balance sheet, and your cash flow statement. You also want to provide a perspective or financial outlook for the next five years. So you wanna include your forecasted income statement, your balance sheet and cash flow statements as well. This is also a good area to include your graphs and your charts 
to paint that picture or that story um, of your finances for your business. Overall, having a business plan is vital for several reasons. Number one, it helps you secure funding either from the investor or from the lender. So a well-written business plan is great to have for an investor or lender to be able to evaluate the potential success of your company or your business. Also, it helps them decide if they want to invest or not in your company. The second reason why business plans are vital um, because it serves as a roadmap or a blueprint, it helps provide a clear direction and purpose for your company, and it outlines those specific goals that you want to achieve. A business plan also helps measure progress. It provides those benchmarks for your company, and it can track your progress, and you can make those adjustments where necessary. So let's talk about finances. Finances are very important in a business. So cash flow management. Cash flow management basically is the lifeline of any business. It's essential for you to keep track of your incoming and outgoing cash flows to ensure that you have enough funds to cover business expenses. That's why financial planning is also important and it's critical to the long-term success of your company. It involves setting those financial goals and creating a budget and tracking the company's financial performance over time. And also, if you are someone that is not able to hire a professional for budgeting, there are online resources available um, to help you learn the basics of budgeting and maintaining your da daily recordings. For example, there's QuickBooks, Mint, and Excel spreadsheets. Risk management is another important component of finances. With risk management, it helps identify and manage risks that may impact your financial performance. For example, risk management may include, or risks may include changes in the economy, supply chain disruption, or natural disasters. So it's important to consider business liability insurance to cover the products or services that you're providing. Finally, I wanna leave you with some tips in regards of your finances. The first tip I want to mention to you is to monitor your cash flow regularly. It's important to know what's going out and coming in. Next, you wanna cut your costs and extra expenses. And also, you may want to consider getting a business line of credit. It's also important to try to avoid personal debt and or pay off debt. This will help eliminate any stressful situations or obligations. And this will also help you be able to get financing um, if needed for things such as your equipment or materials. You may want to consider business insurance that covers liability for your product or service that you're providing. This gives you that extra protection should someone come forth with a claim concerning your business. Finally, you want to allocate funds towards an emergency fund monthly if you can. You want to have at least three to six months worth of funds saved. It's important to have those funds and resources available just in case you have to tap into them to keep your business running. Thank you. This concludes the presentation on your business plan and your finances.